The woman pulled some blinds at 3 a.m. only to find the sky outside was as bright as day. She thought she was awake and hallucinating and opened the curtains. But as the woman looked out the window, the sky suddenly flashed a blinding white light suddenly illuminated the woman could not open her eyes. Before she could react to what was going on, the window instantly returned to normal. The woman was dumbfounded and thought it was the Icelandic Aurora Borealis, so she went back to sleep without giving it a second thought. Little did she know that this light would be the beginning of her despair. The next morning, the woman and her boyfriend were going to try the Icelandic breakfast, but as soon as they stepped out of the hotel, they realized something was wrong because there were no cars or pedestrians on the large streets. What's going on? Don't people go out during the day in Iceland? So they wandered around with a puzzled look on their faces, but after walking for half a minute, they didn't see anyone. Even the square, which is usually full of people, was now empty. The two panicked and hurried into an open convenience store to ask for information. But after looking around, they realized there was no cashier at all. Realizing something was wrong, they started knocking on doors, but they couldn't get a single response even though their hands were almost broken. An inexplicable feeling of fear came over them as if they were the only ones left in the world. So they rushed back to the hotel to see if they had missed any important news. But when the boyfriend turned on his computer, he realized that all the websites were updated at 3 a.m. The man was completely panicked, but he still didn't want to believe that everyone could disappear in one night. So without saying a word, he grabbed the woman and continued to look for survivors. But within a few steps, he saw a car that was running. The man rushed forward and realized that there was no driver in the car, so he drove up and expanded his search. But he turned around 49 times in a row and still found nothing. Gradually, the woman's mind also began to break down the defense of the unknown fear has been haunting her mind. The man held the woman tightly and reassured her that there must be others. But in order to find others, they must find a way to survive. The two of them went into a supermarket and purchased three truckloads of supplies with zero dollars. Then they moved into a villa they couldn't afford in three lifetimes. But this carefree life without spending money didn't last long when the man suddenly had an accident. The man stepped into the shopping cart with his left foot and his right foot on the freshness cabinet next to it, gripping the handles of the shopping cart like a skateboard. He quickly traveled through the aisles of the supermarket. But just as he was throwing up the items on the shelves and preparing to perform acrobatics, the left tire of the shopping cart suddenly lost balance and with a bang, the man fell heavily to the ground. The woman heard the noise and rushed to see what happened, but luckily it was only a few cuts and bruises that didn't hurt his bones. Finally, the two of them went back to their place, but the woman began to blame the man for his childish behavior because at this point in time, the only two people left in the world once seriously injured not even a doctor to see a doctor. But the man thought she was making a big deal out of it, and they spent the whole night arguing. The next morning, the man went to the empty mall intended to pick up some gifts to take back to coax the object happy. Who knows just when he took the elevator ready to go to the third floor when the elevator suddenly broke down. The man panicked and kept banging on the steel door because he knew that if he was trapped in the elevator, he would be starved to death. Seeing the man with his hands on his head in despair, the elevator opened the doors as if they were playing a joke on him. It was only then that the man finally understood his girlfriend's concern. So he rushed back to apologize to the woman with a suit and a bouquet of flowers from a luxury store. But just as the two of them were getting back together and ready to enjoy life again, the water and electricity in the house were suddenly cut off. And that means the kitchen appliances are no longer working, so they had to rely on snacks from the supermarket to fill their stomachs. But snacks are limited and sooner or later they'll starve to death. The woman's pent-up anxiety exploded. But the man thought it was no big deal and even took out a can of yogurt and ate it leisurely. Then he decided to ease the woman's anxiety and took her out for a walk. However, the two of them struggled to get to the edge of a lake and found that the lake, which was so deep not long ago, had completely dried up. The muddy puddle is also gurgling with small bubbles. The woman became more and more anxious at the scene, so the man decided to drive to the other side of Iceland in the hope of meeting humans like them. They drove for three days and three nights until the car ran out of gas and they stopped. Then they found a house and went in to get something to eat. As soon as they entered, they saw an old man staring at them from a tree 